Today I'd like to speak on the topic of Chicago, the murder capital. Previously, I put up a video that states, still not the strings of this book, in parentheses, GLCC, Chicago. Um, I recently watched a video, and I've been watching these things unfold and, and observing um, groups. None of these groups are prophesying about the downfall of Chicago. Now, they claim to be prophets, yet they have not received this vision from the Most High like I have. Now, this is not to demean anyone or anything like that. It's just, I'm just stating the facts. The video that I watched was called The Prophets and Elders of GOCC Chicago. He made reference to females being prophetess, but that was it. We have a role as well. It's no wonder that the Most High is going to rain fire down on that city. It was stated that we have 20, have 20 more years uh, in this captivity in the United States. And my question is, what kind of spirit that you're in that you think this place is going to last for another 20 years? It's a shame that I have to come out and address this issue this way. The murder capital of the world and you want 20 more years in this place. As I stated in the previous video, that's a sign of a false prophet. And don't get it twisted. I've asked the Most High to send me. I don't know if it's in his will to send me because I've asked and he will not. I've been sent to other places, but he will not send me. So GOCC Chicago needs to get together. And nevertheless, all of you claim that America is mystery Babylon and, and the revelations clearly states that she's a city that sits on hills and it's a beast that carries her. America is the beast that's going to receive the same judgment. And if you want to play semantics, it says come out of the midst of her. What is the midst of America? It's the heartland. Isn't Chicago the heartland? You want to play semantics? Then play semantics. It's not time to be playing semantics when judgment is at the door. I've prophesied to so many people in Chicago, the numbers are just exponential and keep and they keep rising. So I can understand why the most high doesn't really need me to stand stand there. But I told him if push comes to sho shove before it start before it happens, and it's even at the door that it's gonna happen, then send me. Send me, I'll do it. A lot of you are going to perish for jealousy, envy, and loving your captivity. And I think it's time that I start back, that I start asking the Most High for a little bit of prelude to judgment for the Windy City. How about that? But the time is at hand. But I think that it's time that I ask for a, a prejudgment wake up sign. Do you seek a sign, O oh ye? adulterous and murderous generation the children of Israel always seek a sign they gave you the scriptures sign in the sun and the moon and the stars of heaven shall be shaken GOCC Chicago get up off your behind and tell these people to come out of that place because I've had the opportunity of telling people and prophesying and they have left that city and like I said, just because I do not have a camera up in my face entertaining people doesn't mean that I had that I have not let my light shine before men. Those who have a near let them hear what the spirit is saying.